similarities that I find between musical instruments and racing are more mental than physical. I think that in music, when you have a difficult note or a phrase coming up, you really need to calculate what your next move will be. And I think that can be shown in racing, too, where if you're in a situation where you can pass a car, you have to think through your mind what you're going to do, whether you go high or go low on the track, and do whatever you think is best, where in music you have to do what you think is best to get your hand in the right position for the right note. between sports people and musicians, there's a lot of overlap on many, many levels. Both groups spend years getting to the point where they do what they do very well. There's a certain amount of faster, stronger, higher in both but raw technique and training muscles to do certain things under certain conditions is very much part of what musicians do and it's certainly part of what sports people do all the time. World-class sports people and world-class musicians are of a different ilk. Not everybody can do what they both do. At the highest level, there are very minute differences between what makes somebody great and what makes somebody a close second. Highly trained musicians are, are like highly trained athletes. They, they have the one-on-one -on -one coaching often. Uh, you have lifelong relationships there from mentors and coaches that inform the young athlete or the young musician how to do what they do or how to do it better. The issue of sort of muscle control for musicians as, as it might pertain to how a race car driver is going around the corner, it's very interesting because so much of it is millimeters and that's what musicians are all about too. <laughs> racing and musical instruments, when you keep on practicing and developing the skills, what you can learn from that can be translated into a race or into a performance, and that can really get you to the next level or on a premier championship level.